Hi guys, I'm Naka Devchen, and welcome to my reaction for Demon Slayer episode 19. So, previously we got like two pretty good episodes about Zenitsu and Inosuke fighting. They're like demons in the demon family. We got a little bit of backstory to both, which was, which is really cool. Yeah, and um, I really did like their fights. Like I said, I do really like them as a characters. I wish there was like um, maybe a little bit more done and maybe a little bit differently with the flashbacks and memories. But still, it was quite solid. So a lot of demons in this family are down finally. And there is like a dead one girl, I think, only left and dead one kid, right? Uh, Tanjiro is now fighting the kid, the creepy one. Yeah, and uh, Hashira's arrived, so I guess they are going to help, which is good too. Yeah, so I guess I'm going to start it right now. Okay, yeah, we ended here. The string just cut through the sword. All their swords are done, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, uh, this is going to be tough one without a sword. The fact that they are able to, to like destroy the swords. Okay, so I need to volume up. <laughs> it was too low, and I'm going to skip through the opening. Oh, that was too much. Okay. The fire god? Okay. Mm. Yeah. So he destroyed this one. Inosuke is still pretty beaten up. He almost got choked to death if I remember correctly. Or his head crushed. He kinda did slice through it very effortlessly. Inosuke is very impressed. One of the strong ones. The music in this. <laughs> He's so impressed. He is not impressed at all. Oh. No, this is not a time. This is not a time for that. Dude. I mean, we know what kind of person he is. He just loves to fight. Ouch! They called him buffoon. Hmm. Ouch. I, I hope so. Okay, that. Oh! That's a clever idea. Yeah, he did. <laughs> no, you were just in your mind talking shit. Yeah, you were hurt, Inasuke. Very hurt. So he just tied him up so he wouldn't do anything stupid or hurt himself even more. I'm all for that. He's very noisy, though. <laughs> I like him, the dude. He is just so chill. Uh, Zenitsu is kind of dying. Hmm. He's breathing deeply. And slowly. I guess to calm down his heart rate so the venom would not spread fast. Not you, apparently. Hmm, yeah, that. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Okay, she is helping him. I guess so, might work. Wow, where did she get that? Or like, they have it normally and casually, things like this. Ugh. 
Where the hell did you get the antidote? Oh, there are more people helping, okay. I bet he's very happy that all these people are getting saved. Okay, I mean, yeah, like, breathing slowly and calmly, you know, can slow your heart rate. So whatever venom you have inside of you would not be pumping through your body crazily if you are in stress. I mean, that's why some people are able to, like, uh, not breathe underwater for a very long time. They, I think, use specific breathing technique. So, like, they would be able to kind of slow down and be able to not breathe for a very long time. Yeah, his strings are very dangerous. Are you able to do that, though? With this strings around, flailing? He's very good at using them. Yeah, you're breathing pretty heavily. Of course he's not going to take them back. I mean, he would kill him eventually, even if he would say that, so who cares? Okay, so she jumped. That, that was weirdly quick. How the hell did she get there? What? When did she get out of the box? What? I'm confused. Yeah, what? I must be confused. She is confused. He's having breakdown, I guess. Oh, yeah, she is. I mean, isn't she supposed to be regenerating fast? Though she's not eating a normal meat, human, she, human meat she is supposed to. Okay, yeah, he's having brain error. Is he okay? Oh, no. I don't like that. That's kind of sad. Yeah, apparently he doesn't care. I guess the girl just wants to be with him, but he's acting very mean to her. Sorry, sir. Maybe because what kind of douchebag ass you are. I guess you weren't. He didn't give a fuck about his mother. Yeah, it's like, go and do this and then maybe I will like you. Yeah, they are scared, both of mother and she, they are scared of him. He's not treating them as a family. Dude, you have something horribly wrong in your head. I mean, this is better than him trying to kill you because he would definitely be able to do that. like that yeah well maybe friendly chat and think of a strategy oh really I don't trust you you're a trash oh no never I don't believe you, no. I saw the way you were acting towards the people which are supposed to be your family. I don't trust you at all. No. Never. You would kill us even if we would hand handed her to you, so no. Yeah, Tanjiro is being very reasonable. Sure, 
Yeah, the way you treated your mother or your sister, indeed. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, you are not understanding how it works, sir. Yeah, Tanjira is right. I like this. Oh, because he's saying the truth and you don't like hearing it. Hmm. That's why he doesn't like him. Because their relationship, brother and sister, is nice. And Tanjiro is saying through it and he hates hearing that. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, he was kind of ordering others around, so I'm not really surprised. <laughs> he is the the one. Hmm. They were just assigned the roles. That's sad. But there needs to be a genuine love, not something artificial. And something you are scaring the others to do. Hmm. Yeah, he just assigned them the roles. He doesn't understand how it actually is supposed to work. <laughs> Someone thinks very highly of themselves, huh? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really that hard to tell, but we saw what they did not, so... Oh, I'm so sorry. You are the fool. I mean, it's better to fight you than just die. Oh, he attached the strings to her already. <clears throat> Damn! Sister Stealer. Uh, fight you? Get her back? I don't believe you a second. Yeah, be careful. Those strings dangerous. How the music is getting crazy. Wow. He entangled her there. I mean, she's getting hurt, but she can still regenerate. So, Tanjiro, I understand this is probably very shocking and very horrible, but he doesn't care. Pay attention to him. Yeah, pay attention to him. I get your worries. But you cannot be putting attention to something else than him. Browser a bit. Damn, yeah, this kid is something else. I really feel sorry for the sister, his sister and his mother. Or the demons their roles were assigned to them. I really feel sorry for them. They were just terrorized by this creepy child. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, you're not doing so well. I don't know how good your reflexes are, so better try it and do nothing. Oh, he is even presenting himself to him. Mm. He can't even do that. That's bad, very bad. What a tough skin. And he's very well aware of that. Yeah, I mean, he's a blood moon. They are definitely way stronger than anything else we ever met. Sanchez is just getting kicked around. Hmm. And his webs sliced his freaking sword. You better learn that very quickly. Pernesico, she must be feeling so horrible right now. <laughs> Mm. 
Yep, it is. And we are going to probably find more of these. Hmm. How strong is Muzan then? Damn, she's still struggling trying to help Tanjiro. Ouch. You know, eventually you will cut her those off and she would fall down. So maybe that would be for better. So she would fall down, regenerate and kick your ass. But he's deliberately not doing that. He's just deliberately letting her hang there. And cutting her. Maybe she's trying to do something. I mean, because it is an unusual. She doesn't eat. Okay. Okay. Even with a sword like that, he's still continuing. I mean, yeah, what else he can do, right? Oh, he deflected that. More forms. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't even know if we saw this, but it's, yeah, cutting through the webs. Even with a sword which is just broken. Spell trouble, you say. Just be careful. Probably not. Oh. Oh, now he started to get serious. He's really, really tired of him. Yeah, you kinda got yourself here a little in the bad spot. I mean, you should have expected he would do something like this. We haven't seen it before. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess he's seeing a life before his eyes. <laughs> Cute little baby Tanjiro, and I guess that's Nezuko. Ah, oh, and father. Finally. He looks so tired. And Neil. What? Okay. 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 That's pretty cool. I <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. I wish we knew a little bit more about him. Yeah, he seems very ill. He looked very ill. Well... So he di died because of the illness? Damn, poor man. Okay. And now suddenly he will pull it off even though he never did anything like that before. Well, yeah. So far the fight was good and then this bullshit happened. <laughs> Why is it always happening? Like, he just pulled it out of nowhere. Some kind of special kind of breathing, which is probably a little bit different because this is a completely different move, but he just did it. Suddenly, not only water, but fire, like... Yeah, this really feels like pulled out of the ass. I'm sorry. Like... Up until this moment, the fight was really, really good. I actually really liked it, surprisingly. But this is why I don't like Tanjiro fighting. He's doing these kind of things. 
Yeah, and my enjoyment is kind of like, eh, well, I guess. I mean, he is a main character and he must win, right? He must fight that fight. It would be better if, like, the Hashira would come in and destroy him. The music is very beautiful, though. Well, your sister would not be very happy about that. Okay, she hears her mother. That's light, a nice moment. Hearing her mother to kind of cheering her up. Okay. Oh? Oh. And we finally heard, like, her voice. I mean, it was her inner voice. Okay. She did a blood art. That was pretty cool. Okay. Damn, they are getting really crazy with the effects. Chill? Maybe a little down? Oh, it's just ending? Okay. Yeah, like... <clears throat> up up till that. Okay, f suddenly I can use fire moves or whatever. It was really good. Really, really good. I really enjoyed that because, like, what it meant for Tanjiro and, like, the conflict between what family and sister means. You know, I like that. That was really, really cool. And then, like, out of nowhere, he just does this. Which I don't really like. Like, if he... If we would saw... If... You know, it would... This show would be way more better if at the start we would saw Tanjiro being taught by his father this breathing technique. You know? So, everything from that point would kind of make sense because he would actually started something way before he was trained as a demon slayer. So like him being better at these kind of things would make sense. But it's retrospectively he was not taught it. We just saw he saw it once, maybe more, but like why are you not showing us his father teaching him that? That would make way more sense for this. So he would have like um, something to build on, upon. But no, they did not do that. So it feels like it's out of ass. Oh, suddenly remember. Okay, that's good. Ah, eh, probably not. Okay. Well, I g guess so. We'll see you next time. Yeah. <clears throat> Seriously. Up until that moment when he pulled this fiery moved out of nowhere. The episode was solid, 8 out of 10. I really like it. I really liked how Tanjiro was acting in this. I really liked how he was struggling in this. It, it makes sense. It was really good. You know, because main character needs to struggle. So I was thinking the Hashira would come in and would help him. That would be way better. But then he remembers his father dancing and some kind of breathing and suddenly he is able to pull this. It would be so much better if it would be like other way around. We would saw him being thought these dances and breathing. So everything from that moment would make sense that he would be better at learning breathing techniques, that stuff and this kind of things, you know, it would make way more sense. But I guess at that point, the author did not thought of that. Seriously. <laughs> you for a better story, you kind of need to do it the other way around, kind of. Because then, we would saw him like do that and we're like, oh, that 
that's really cool, you know, that he was thought of this. And when this would come, it would actually make sense. Yeah. Hmm. Seriously. Because of this move, I I'm just going to give it 7 and a half out of 10. But if it would not be there, I would give it 8 out of 10. Because I really like the episode before all of this happened. Why are you doing this to me, Demon Slayer? Yeah, it's always like this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Andrew is having struggles and this looks kind of cool and then there's like something out of nowhere and he wins. Come on. Yeah, I just don't like the way Tanjiro is getting new power-ups or strengths. It's just because the way he started, so everything is kind of falling apart for me because there is no continuity. It's kind of like, yeah, it just... His progression in a moveset and strength is just doesn't make sense to me. But I really love the moment of Nezuko when she did a blood art. Something, uh, she burned the threads or something like that. So I guess her powers are heat based too or something like that. That would be really cool. Actually, that would be really cool. And I love that we actually heard her voice, finally. It was the inner royal voice because she kind of can't talk, right? But at least we heard her. I'm so glad. Can we, like, please hear her more? What she's thinking about the stuff and such. So she decided to help him. That was really cool. Well, in the end, Tanjiro just cut his head off. So, like, is he done? Please, I don't want him to be done. That would be just too easy. That would be just too easy. Like, come on. Yeah, I would definitely prefer Tanjiro to be, like, losing and Hashira saving him. Because this move is just like, okay, fire out of nowhere. Because here you have a freaking flashback, so you kind of can feel like it's just not out of nowhere, even though it's out of nowhere. Character needs to level up gradually. But, like, gradually that it makes sense. Okay, that needs to be like, if, if he would be really strong from the start, it would make sense, like with Inosuke or Zenitsu, we don't know their training much, or we saw it later on, but like, they came in, they showed us some cool moves, so there, that wasn't a problem with that, because we don't know how weak they were before that, but we know how weak was Tanjiro. And, like, his progression in a string was just, like, weird. Yeah, it, it did not make sense. And it still doesn't make sense to me, like, him busting out these moves. Like, where is the base for these moves? Right? It's just like, oh, yeah, I, I kind of was able to learn them somehow. And somehow... I was able to do this, even though I never did it before, because I suddenly remembered or something. Yeah. <laughs> suddenly remembered something power up is... I don't know, I just don't like it. Th that was... Weird. Not a huge fan of it. But, except for that part of this episode, everything before that was really, really good. And, like I've said, I like Tanjiro in this. I really like it. Up until they kind of destroy the whole build-up. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, like everything he was saying, how he was acting. I like that. I really like it. Surprisingly enough. Yeah, but then that later stuff happened. And I'm like, ah, you, you really don't want me to enjoy Tanjiro, right? <laughs> Arthur, you really don't want me to enjoy him. God damn you, why are you doing this to me? Ah, oh, well, at least we saw his father. Finally. He was very sick. I hope it's not genetic. Because Sanjiro is freaked then. But also, he had, like, uh, the mark on his head too. So I guess it's like a birthmark or something. Must be, because they both have it very same-ish. At, at first I thought it's a burn mark, but I guess it's a birth mark. Yeah, and like, Tanjiro's then looks a little bit different because it got hurt, so yeah. 
visuals are really cool. I really love the music in this episode. It was amazing. The music. Music is really cool. Like, it, it's kind of playing in a background. So, like, you mostly don't notice it. But, like, when you start listening, it's really, really cool. I wish, like, they put more focus on the music because it's very, very beautiful. But, like, uh, the visuals, what are happening, are kind of distracting you from the amazing music. Which is there, yeah. The the freaking visuals were, like, getting pretty ham. Very crazy. Which, like, it looked cool, but for me, it kind of feels too distracted. Yeah, there's, like, too much effects happening and this kind of stuff. And I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer things to be kind of simplistic. With the visuals. I, uh, I like simplistic visuals. I mean, it kind of reminds me of One Piece. Now, in Wano, the animation and visuals are, like, better. But my biggest problem with the visuals are, like, I'm not watching anime. I just watched, like, a few episodes of the Wano arc. And my biggest problems are the effects. There's just such abundance of effects. Effects on effects on effects. That like I'm lost and I hate those effects. They're just like people can can you be just like a little bit more simplistic with all of this because it's just too much. I I I like older One Piece more. Like yeah, the animation is not that good. Or the visuals, but I prefer it more, actually, than the visuals in Wano. Because so many effects and craziness, I'm like, no. No, this is not like some weird artsy shit where I would expect it. Right? This is a normal shonen, so dial it fucking down. <laughs> yeah, the effects sometimes they are just going too ham with that, and I'm not a fan. And they were like going really crazy in this fight with it too, and that was very distractive. Yeah, very distractive. It's just not my kind of thing. I I'm for more simplistic effects in anime, yeah. So, yeah, I guess that's all. 7.5 out of 10. At least Zenitsu is getting a treatment and other kids are getting the treatment, other demon slayers. And Inosuke is kind of hanging <laughs> for now. Yeah. Wasn't that bad episode? Until that part, which happened, I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, so I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.